Hello everyone. This is a demonstration of the sentiment analysis capability that could be used by the customer support agents uh, in order to better prioritize the cases by taking emotional context into consideration as well. For the purpose of this demonstration, imagine that I am a subscriber of the a media streaming company and I'm trying to log into their app in order to watch their show. However, I notice that I keep getting kicked out of the app, giving me concerns if my account got hacked. So I decide to communicate with the support of the uh, media streaming company using the communication channel of my choice, which is email. So I'm writing an email to the support address of the streaming company. And as you can see, I'm using pretty strong language in order to communicate how frustrated I am with their experience. Uh, I am asking for a refund and I'm asking for somebody to call me ASAP and also for my account to be terminated. Switching to the agent side of the house, as an agent, I'm looking at a backlog of cases at any given point of time. And having visibility into the current sentiment greatly helps me in prioritizing those cases better. In fact, I as an agent can also group these cases by uh, current sentiment so that maybe I can start addressing all the negative cases at, at first because they have the most impact on the business uh, because of the churn associated with the negative sentiment customers. So let me jump into this uh, uh, most recent case that came in from one of our uh, subscribers. Firstly, as you can see on the left-hand side of the case form, my job is already made easier as AI is predicting and automatically filling up the case form fields based on the subject and the body of the uh, case that came in from the email. All I need to do is quickly glance through them to make sure that they're right and then focus on the resolution. This will save up to at least 30 seconds uh, per each case and will enable me to greatly focus on the resolution of the case. So focusing on the resolution, I see that this email has come in with a pretty strong language talking about uh, account being logged out. After, after doing my due diligence, I decide to respond back to the customer in the same email and uh, let the customer know that um, their credentials are safe. And in fact, it's because of an internal system issue uh, that their account was uh, locked out. So I'm trying to give the confidence to the end user uh, using very positive language and, and in order to reduce the churn if possible. And I send the email. Now switching to the end customer side once again, I'm pleasantly surprised to see a response from the support agent of the streaming company in less than five minutes with a resolution. Once I try out the resolution, I'm able to log into the app successfully. I decide to write back to the support agent thanking for the help in a more neutral tone. Now, switching back to the agent side of the house again, I see a response come back from the end customer in a, in a much better tone. And as a result, you can see that the current sentiment is now neutral with sentiment over time improving as well. Also, if I switch to the list view, you can clearly see how the sentiment over time has is, is been improving while the current sentiment is neutral uh, based on the change in the tone from the customer. This is also a great way for managers to step in and avoid escalations. For example, let's say whenever sentiment over time is declining, uh, the managers could pick those cases to step in and provide coaching uh, for agents. So that's the sentiment analysis and the case categorization demo. Thank you.